Greetings in the name of our risen Jesus. Beloved, you are welcome to Standing in the Gap. Today, in Standing in the Gap, we're praying for our friends, part two. But before we go into our service, we'd like to, you know, magnify our, our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. we worship you.
overshadow us, overwhelm us. Let your goodness take over this place. Lord, the Bible declares in the book of Jeremiah 33 verse 3, it says, Call unto me, I will answer thee, and I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Father, we have gathered in your name. You say, where two or three are gathered, you are there in their presence. Holy Spirit, let your word come forth in our lives. Magnify Jesus. Let Jesus be exalted. At the end of the day, let there be manifestations of testimonies and revelations of God visitations in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. A louder amen. amen. Beloved, we prayed last week for our friends. And because uh, we have some of us have so many friends. And we want to pray through. Amen. Pray until something happens. So, following that a pattern, we'll be praying for our friends. Our friends, remember, people that you grew up with, your friends, your neighbors, and your friends, uh, your colleagues in school, high school, middle school, in the college, the people that you work with, your, your associates, some of them, they are very close. They are personal friends that you know their challenges. There are some of them that are having issues on how to get the sustenance, how to raise their children, how to pay their bills. With this lockdown, even made it worse. And with sickness, somebody even called me uh, from New Jersey and uh, was telling me about you know, how her spouse was diagnosed of cancer. You know? So when you have those kind of friends calling you for uh, uh, challenges like this, then it calls for instant prayer. Hallelujah. So with that regard, We'll be looking at the book of Luke chapter 22 verse 31 where Jesus prayed for his friend. Peter was his friend even though he was one of the chief followers of, of Christ. He was the lead uh, apostles of Christ. He prayed for him. He says in, in the book of uh, Luke 22 verse 31 and 32, Jesus prayed for Peter. And I would like you to pray. In fact, in that place he called him Simon. When he was trying to address him, and address him, you know, with his original name, he called his name what? Simon. And he repeated it twice. He said, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you, that he may sift you as a wheat. You know, like when you sift a wheat. Amen. But I have prayed for thee. I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. And that, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. When thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Does that mean, you know, uh, Simon Peter was not converted? Amen. He said, this is, you know, this is a show of love for God for his, one of his followers. He prayed for one of his followers and he prayed for one of his disciples and happens to be one of the lead disciples of Jesus Christ. He called him Simon. And in some cases, he will call him Peter. Amen. Hallelujah. So we'll be praying for our friends that have challenges. That are people that are about to backslide now because of the challenges. They have they tried to get married. They've tried to get a job. They've tried to, you know, make ends meet. They have tried everything. Many of them have fasted and prayed. But the Bible tells us that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous have led much. So with the, with the, uh, through the avenue of prayer, you can stand in the place of intercession and pray for that your friend and tell the Lord that Lord you must do something. Hallelujah. You begin to intervene like Job prayed in Job chapter 42 verse 10. The Bible said Job prayed for his friends. I believe you have friends. Amen. And so sometimes your friends might be people that they may not even agree with you. They might disagree with you. They might not have the same style, but they are your friends. I have friends like that. That when you sit down with them, they almost disagree with you. They are believers. Some of them are pastors. They disagree with you on almost everything. They have scriptures to make their case. You have those scriptures to make your own case. But your friends, you sit down with talk and we challenge each other. Amen. So we're going to pray for that friend. Have somebody in mind. Have a friend that is dear to your heart. Have that family member in mind. Have that your in-law in mind. Have that your childhood friend, your neighbor in mind. Your colleague at work. That person you have been praying for that is having some challenge. So we're going to pray. We're going to open your mouth wide. The psalmist tells us in Psalm 81 verse 10. He said, I am the Lord that brought thee out of Egypt. Open your mouth wide. I will feel it. So when you open your mouth wide, God said, I will feel it. Psalm 81 verse 10. So you're going to declare without any apology. You're going to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand in the place of prayer for my friend. And I ask that you strengthen his faith. Holy go 
Ghost, strengthen the faith of my friend. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh my father, my father, I stand in the place of prayer and I place a demand over his faith that his faith will not fail him. As you prayed for Peter, and Peter did not backslide. Lord, strengthen the faith of my friend. Strengthen the faith of that, my friend, who is going through challenges. That your friend who has been believing God for a spouse. That your friend who has been believing God for a job. That your friend that is sick. That your friend that is counting on you. Father, we stand in the place of prayer. I will pray for my blood friend, my bosom friend. Lord, I place a, I place a demand over heavens that there will be a turnaround. There will be a visitation. There will be a turnaround in his life. Lord, I pray that your mercy will locate him today. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we stand in the place of prayer. Father, we stand and we place a demand that you do something concerning his situation, concerning this situation, over his life, over this sickness. Lord, intervene. The enemy will not have, the, the Lord of the enemy will not exert themselves over the righteous. Lord, we pray for divine visitation that this cancer, that this affliction, that this issue will be a thing of the past. Lord, we put the devourer in their life. We put the demon in their life by the power of the Holy Ghost. We employ the stripe of Jesus. We deploy the balm of Gilead. We deploy the healing in his wings over this situation. That there will be a turn around. Lay your hands of mercy. Lay your hands of power upon his life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody shout all power. Somebody shout all power. All power. Jesus said in the book of Matthew 28, 18, very interesting. He said, all power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Hallelujah. So with that assurance, we are going to draw you know, anointing from that source of all power. Amen. We are going to declare that anything that the enemy has done in the life of that sister, anything they have done, or somebody wants to know what have they done, the Bible says in the book of Matthew that the enemy has done this. Behind any problem, there is a spiritual wickedness. Behind any challenge, there is a spiritual entity. There could be a strong man. There could be an altar erected. Like an altar where you praise God, an altar where you serve God. There's also an contrary altar, an evil altar, that may be responsible for that stagnancy. There may be a, co a coven, witchcraft coven, demonic quorum that may be, that may be you know, infusing, that strengthening, sacrificing on that altar, and that is reinforcing affliction. Anytime they are saved, about to have a relief, they go to reinforce that this sister must not get married, that this brother must not, must not get, must not break through. Amen. But it's a lie from the pit of hell. If you keep on pressing on, if you keep on pushing on, if you keep on declaring the word of God, if you keep on having faith in God, if you keep on looking up to Jesus, he will make a way where there is no way. Hallelujah. Because all power belongs to God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to pray that the, the spirit behind what you are going through, the, the altar behind that struggle, let that altar collide with the rock of ages. Let that altar collide with fire. Amen. When the two powers collide with each other, the lesser power will bow by, 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 by reason of, of, of 
of, of, of level of power. And the lesser power bows what? To the higher power. And we know that all power has been given to Jesus. Amen. And that is why you cannot be afraid deploying the power of God because he said, behold, I give you power. I give you authority to tread upon serpent and scorpions. So I'm going to pray against all tower of serpent. All tower of scorpion. Behind your challenge. Behind your struggle. Collide with fire. Collide with fire. Every altar. Every, every evil altar. Every satanic altar. Every enchanting altar. Behind your struggle. Behind your progress. Behind your challenge. Collide with the rock of ages. Collide with the rock of ages. Collide with fire. Collide with fire. Mazete kezete. Rebra kazate kezetenda. Pakuzate kizate. Zashate male kizata. Zoshete bra kazetinga. Parabro kizati. Jesota malezu teki. Paribraza tengi balat. Father in the name of Jesus. That evil altar. That ancestral altar. That family altar. That witchcraft altar. Behind this wickedness. Connect with fire. Connect with fire. Connect with fire. Connect with fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. We are going to pray for your friend. Any strange witch or wizard sitting on their glory. Any satanic witch or wizard that is sitting on the glory of your friend that you could see that they cannot find any way to rise up their head. Each time they try to rise up their head, they will to press the person down. Say, where are you going? Sit down here. And the person happens to find himself spiritually in one spot. If you have found yourself in one spot, you are running but you are in one spot. You are working hard but you are in one spot. You are making effort but you are in one spot. In fact, you are having a, a, like a, 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 a backward progress. It's a progress but it's a backward progress. That altar, that personality is about to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. It means there's a strong man. There's a personality that is sitting upon your blessing. In the book of Mark chapter 3 verse 27, in the book of Mark gospel chapter 3 verse 27, it tells us about a strong man. There is a strong man that will be responsible. A strong man is a spiritual personality. A strong man is that person that is behind your blessing, that has stolen your blessings. The Bible says in Mark 3, 27 gospel, it says no man can enter into a strong man's house. Amen. And spoil his goods. What? Except if we first bind the strong man. And then he will, he will spoil his goods. So there's this strong man that is responsible for what belongs to you. The devil is a thief. He has come to steal, to kill, and destroy. So we steal and you give it to people. And then if you want to collect it back, then there's a strong man that you have to confront with. So that is the strong man. You may not be able to fight that strong man. Amen. And that was why David said in Psalm 18, Oh Lord, fight for me because this, my enemies are too strong in Psalm 18 somewhere. Amen. So I'm going to tell the Lord that every strong man that is behind my challenge, that is behind my struggle, I'm going to help you pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray, say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Every strong man, every strong man that is behind my problem, that is behind my struggle, with the chains of fire, with the fetters of God, with the bars of God, I bind you in the name of God the Father. I bind you in the name of God the Son. I bind you by the power of the Holy Ghost. That strong man that has vowed, you cannot get married, you cannot have children, you cannot go promoted, you cannot get your visa, you cannot get elevated, you will not see the son of the dead, you are a liar in the name of Jesus. We bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind that strong man responsible for that affliction. I bind that strong man responsible for that oppression. The Bible says oppression makes the wise man mad. That oppression that wants to turn into a madman, we bind that situation. We bind that strong man in your father's house that is responsible for your oppression. We bind in the name of Jesus. We bind you with the fetters of iron. We bind you in the name of God the Father. We bind you in the name of God the Son. In the name 
name of God, the Holy Ghost, be bound, be bound. I bind you. Lose your hold over her life. Lose your hold over her blessing. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and begin to speak. Zazete, 
Zakibra kiza kibra hiha kia. Zakibra kiza kibra zataba. Zakibra zahi kari basata. Zakibra kana mizati. Zika zataba kaha. Lika zataba kiza tanda. Pakari brasa taki zata. Receive the stones of destruction. Receive the stones of fire. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You the power. Sitting on my first destiny. Sitting on his ministering. Sitting on his marriage. Sitting on his children. Your time has expired. Hallelujah. 
You are going to decree a thing. The Bible said, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established. Now, the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Beloved, the spirit of God is coming upon you right there where you are. And it's liberating you from every oppression that wants to turn into a mad person. Jesus, my 
mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I will have seen cases where people, when they come to church, they throw eggs at the end, uh, at the entrance of the church. I have seen, not even people told me, I have seen. Amen. My former church will get there. You see, the enemies that does not want us to pray. As you as soon as we begin to pray that video, they call police. They, you are disturbing the neighborhood. It's not ordinary. You are disturbing their, their evil meeting. Amen. So, no matter how we reduce the volume of the prayer, they will see call police. Hallelujah. Because I pray, I will not realize that at a junction, there is an evil occultic we will not realize. At the time they come and do, do, do release coffee, but they are ground on the floor. At the time, they, so the enemy is always, they are always working. But God will scatter them. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, God will scatter them. Amen. Anywhere they have gathered against you, they shall be scattered by fire. Anywhere they have gathered against your children, they shall scatter by thunder. Holy Ghost arise. Scatter their altar. Scatter their enchantment. Scatter their divination. Scatter their sorcery. Scatter their wickedness. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The Lord, amen. amen. And believe it, as from today, the Lord shall disappoint their activities. Every of their activities against your, your destiny, against that your friend, they shall be disappointed. The devil is always working. Hallelujah. It's a business enterprise. It's a big time business of demonic association. You are going to come and say, Holy Ghost alas. Disappoint the enemies of my friend's destiny. Disappoint them, Lord. Frustrate the tokens of the liars. Frustrate their handwork. Let them be frustrated. Jesus Taria Razati, Parakezete Majati, Zuba Lava Jete Brakaki Zete, Jete Zeti Brakazatanga, Zisha Tumaniki, Niki Brakazatinga Li, Mazate Kiba, Sushete Ki Brazata, Brazitani Brakutazite, Jikari Brakazata, Zashetanga, Mazate Bali Kazatia. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. organization, evil, strange gathering. The Bible calls something strange. Amen. If you follow me to the book of Psalm 18 verse 44 and 45, there are strangers that at the time, they were entered into for somebody's life and now begin to, they begin to cause havoc. Amen. The Bible says, as soon as they hear of me. Amen. As soon as they hear the word of God, they shall obey me. So the strangers name from today, they are going to obey. Say the strangers shall submit themselves unto me. Amen. Amen. The strangers, the strangers shall fade away and be afraid of their close places. This is when your enemy is inside. Foundational issue. When they are, the problem your friend is facing is not from outside. It's from the enemy inside. That's what he's talking about. He said, as soon as they hear of me, your prayers, the strangers that are fighting you from, from, your, from your bloodline, from your foundation, that are inside, there are some personalities inside. Amen. Amen. They shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid of their close friends. It's a very strange prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. That means your, prayer, your enemies are not outside. Your enemies are what? Inside, hallelujah. So, you are going to put your right hand upon your chest and you are going to pray. I don't know which enemy is inside, but the Lord Himself, the Holy Ghost, knows the strangers. Whatever stranger is in you, there are some people that are hearing voices, amen. And whatever voice they hear, amen, that's an example of a stranger. Whatever voice I've seen somebody where I used to walk, he said, I'm hearing voices. I say, What voice are you hearing? He said, the voice I'm hearing now is telling me to kill somebody. I say, you cannot, I'm, I used to be an officer. He said, ah, is it me? He said, no, but he's just telling me to kill somebody. So we have to call the side nurses. We have to, we know, they, they have to go and quarantine him, put him in isolation and give him some kind of gun and begin to they put him under 
observation. Where it can be observed. So it can it doesn't if you cannot find somebody to kill, the devil they will say, Well, since you cannot find anybody to kill, kill yourself. Because sometimes you run, you run with fast, you hit his head. Amen. So these are examples of enemies what inside. And there are other enemies that will say, Leave your house by 12 midnight. And any man you see, sleep with him. So you say, These are strangers. There are some people that you will see them, they say, Go, go to Walmart and go and steal. Go and steal candy. Amen. And he has money. You will not be able to steal it. So they are strangers. So I'm going to pray. And there are so many other dimensions of strangers. When you have a relationship with the spirit husband, that it will not allow the real husband to come. Except that stranger fades away or dies, you will not be free. That is why you need to pray with holy anger. Say, in the name of Jesus. Every stranger that has found himself inside the my life of my friend, I command you to fade away. I command you to come out of fire. Every stranger of darkness, every enemy inside fighting your destiny, every enemy inside fighting your, your glory, every enemy inside be a bakizati, brakizati, jacuzate, manekizata. I command to come out of that body. Come out by fire, by the power, in the name of Jesus. Come out with all your roots. Every hidden enemy, every enemy behind the scene, every enemy after your destiny, every enemy that has vowed that you cannot get a job, you cannot get married, you cannot have children. Your time has expired by the power, in the name of Jesus, we summon you out. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. Come Come out by fire. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lift up your two hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Lord, the Bible says he sent his word and he delivered them. He healed, delivered them and he healed them from their oppressions from their destructions. Lord, I speak as your servants. Every stranger in their bodies, every unwanted visitor, anything that my Heavenly Father has not planted, that the enemy has planted, planted affliction, planted demonic spirit, monitoring your movement, reporting your cases to their covens. Lord, let those strangers be expelled by fire. In the name of Jesus! Be expelled by fire! In the name of Jesus! You are an illegal occupant by the authority in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. I command you come out by fire in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Lose your hold over her life. Lose your hold over his life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. A shouting hallelujah. A shouting hallelujah. A shouting hallelujah. Whenever Jesus sets you free, you have to declare your freedom. That's why testimony is to announce the defeat of the devil. Amen. And put them into perpetual shame that Jesus has taken over. The next prayer I go to pray is a prayer of mockers. Those who are mocking your death, mocking your life. Amen. Pray for yourself and also pray for your friend. There are, say, there are people that are mocking you. In the book of Psalm number 22, verse 7 and 8. Psalm number 22, verse 7 and 8. They are mockers. They are friends of Job. They were mocking him. They saw what he was going to. Miserable, you know, friends. Mocking him. Amen. All they that see me. Uh, well, I'm reading Psalm 22, verse 8 and 9. I mean, Psalm, Psalm 22, verse 7 and 8. That's correct. Psalm 22, verse 7 and 8. He said, all they that see me, laugh me to scorn. That means they see him and they are laughing at him to scorn. Amen. Making the gist of him. They shoot out their lips. They shake their heads saying, hmm, he trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him. Seeing he delighted in him. So they are mocking a child of God. 
that is going to church. That's what he's saying. They are mocking you. Say, all this your Bible you are carrying, all this your prayer night vigil, all this your fasting, all this your worship. You are a lead worshiper. You are a prayer warrior. You are a man of God. Why are you? Why is your case like this? Why are you like this? The psalmist is saying. They will put the same. They will shake their heads. Ah, when she, when will she get married? When will she have children? She's been married for ten years. No, so the enemy, even some of the enemy, they mock us. Some of them are even inside the church. They are mocking him. They are mocking her. Amen. Miserable friends of Job. They are friends of Job that mocked him. I pray. I saw one. They are mocking you. Say, ah, with all this you are going doing, your church is still small. With all this your fasting, you still have how many few members? With all this your prayer, what has God done for you? It is in the Bible. They mocked Jesus Christ. They say he said he was the king of the Jews. He saved others, but he cannot save himself. But the time hasn't come because God worked the time. But that time is now. Amen. Amen. That God will set you free. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Every unfriendly friend that is mocking me now. You are going to witness my liberty and my celebration. Every unfriendly friend, anyone that has been mocking me, that I'm carrying the Bible, that I'm praising God, that I'm dancing too much, that I'm always fasting, I'm always preaching the gospel. What has God done for me? You will see my lifting. You will observe my lifting. You will witness my celebration. You will see my arrival. You will see my testimony. You will witness my testimony. And there is nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can do about the goodness of God in my life. With the mouth you have mocked me. With this mouth you will come to celebrate me. With this mouth you have mocked me. Serving God with all my heart. Praising God with all my heart. Declaring the word of faith with all my heart. You have been mocking me as the Lord lives. As Jesus Christ is Lord and Holy Ghost is alive. You are going to also witness my lifting. You will witness my celebration. That is a prophecy for somebody. Prophesy for your friend and prophesy for yourself. Oh, you will see my lifting. The Jehovah, the lifter of men, shall lift me from Zion. Shall defend my case. The Lord you have mocked. The Lord you have looked. You shall come to see. Oh, Karazeteba. Jesete Brezete. Zoshate Malezati. Zika Brazate Kezetea. Zubra Kazete Majanda. Isati Brakazete. In Jesus' name we pray. A better amen. amen. I'll tell you about two stories on the one prayer. About the same prayer about Mokas. Because I saw it. God showed it to me. And I dealt with them. A revelation. Amen. They were, they were disgraced. The, my spirit man, I was sleeping, but the spirit of God in me disgraced them. When the enemy will come as a flood, the spirit of God in you will raise a standard. That is why you have to read the word of God before you go to bed. So that the word of God become the spirit that will raise the standard against every satanic flood. The Bible says we should read the Bible twice. Amen. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate upon what? Day and night. The morning one is for morning. The night one is when you are sleeping. The word of God, which is spirit of God, will raise a standard against any satanic agenda. And you, while you are sleeping, while your carnal man is sleeping, while your flesh is sleeping, your spirit man filled with the word of God will raise a standard against that satanic agenda. That's what it is. Amen. So read the word of God. Somebody's so that somebody's getting an assignment. Read the word of God before you go to bed. Read uh, read the word of God before you go to bed. Memorize one, meditate upon it, reflect upon it, ponder upon it, sleep with that word. It becomes a good problem because the word of God, what do we want? Is a sword. Iman is what is that called? A two word, and a sword. But that's not where I'm going. I want to give you two instances about this prayer about mockers. Remember. Uh, uh, um, blind Bartimaeus, son of Timos, right? When they were mocking him, he said, Shut up, blind man! Who wants to hear from you? He said, Shut up. Then some of Timos said, Ah! He shouted about Jesus, the son of David. Have mercy on me. Jesus stood still. And guess what? The same people, amen? Jesus can say, What? Call him. The same people that stood to shut up. We are the same people in, I'm talking about Mark from, from, from verse 46 to 52. We're not going there now. The same people that were mocking him say, Ah, behold, cheer up. For what? He called thee. 
the same mockers. But this is where I want to read. I want to read Isaiah 60 verse 14. It's a prophecy for somebody. This prophecy, write it down. It shall come to pass. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. For your friend and for yourself as well. Isaiah 60 verse 14. In closing, I want to read this. You want to read it with me? It's a prophetic word for somebody. I believe God's word. I know it works. It has always worked. And it will work for you. It works for me. And it will work for us. Amen. He said, the souls also. Are you there? Can we read together? The souls also of them that did what? Afflicted they shall come what? Bending unto thee. They will come on their knees bending. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. That is somebody's prophet, prophetic word. It will surely come to pass. As the Lord liveth, the Bible says, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. There is no controversy over God's word. May God settle you in your marriage. May God help you to find your partner. May God help you to get a job. May God bring the way of escape. May God bless you from Zion. He that keepeth Israel shall not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shield upon your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in. And you shall have a turn around, a breaking forth, a breakthrough, a lifting, a Jericho falling. Hallelujah. Testimony. A testimony that cannot be hidden. A testimony that cannot be swallowed. A testimony that cannot stagger. A testimony that will stand like the sun, the star stand of the sun. Shall see the goodness of God in your life, and they shall glorify God. I bring I decree over your life, you will not die before your time, you will fulfill your destiny, you will reach your goal. The God of Abraham will defend you, will bless you, you will not be barren, you shall be fruitful. I speak fruitfulness over your life. You are not broke, you are not afflicted. Jesus has break, has broken for you. He is going to break through for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. A louder amen. amen. A victory amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Thank you for that new job. Thank you for that new suit. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Be that glorified. Father, we come against every reinforcement of darkness. Every witchcraft reunion. Every demonic regrouping. Holy Ghost, scatter them by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your hand come upon these prayers. Establish it by your right power. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Believe in amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Let us share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For the Lord who has turned things around. For the Lord, the Bible says, when the Lord turned the captivity of, of Zion, they are like them. Amen. That, that God will put laughter in their mouth. Hallelujah. God has put laughter. Amen. You are like them that dream. Hallelujah. Your testimony will surprise you that this year your husband will show up. This year you are going to enter your new house. This same year that God will give you a new job. This month, as a matter of fact, God will give you a new job. Amen. As the lockdown is being lifted, so shall the, or the, the, the keys of darkness are lifted in the name of Jesus. You are walking into your promised land. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy have followed us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, we have our service. Next service, we have, we have a night, we have a night vigil prayer. Is it night vigil? We have a night vigil prayer for children. Uh, it's going to be on Instagram, but from, from next time around, we're going to uh, broadcast from Instagram and Facebook live at the same time. So we're working on that. Amen. So, but for now, our prayers, will, the night VG will be on Instagram live and also on our prayer line. Hallelujah. Let, uh, let us shout three hallelujah. 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 Amen. God bless you. Bye now.